Maybe a week ago, you guys were really looking up at it. Um, I mean, last week we were a little down on ourselves, but uh, we've had two good games back to back, um, especially a good one against Missouri. So we're happy, but at the same time, I think we're even more focused right now, knowing that um, we got to still keep on making this run before the tournament. And, um, I think we had a really good day yesterday. Hopefully, we'll have a good day today. Jared, this team's Mississippi State's lost 12 straight games, one of their longest losing streaks in history. How do you, how do you sort of not look past a team like this? Um, I mean, we really, we really know we can't look past anybody. I mean, they had, they've had some teams uh, almost beat. I think Cal said so, uh, I mean, we had a really focused practice yesterday. Cal was really on us, making sure that we're not going to look past this team at all. So um, yeah, just keep, keep staying focused and going hard in practice and what we're trying to do. They lost in the last game by 40 at home to Mandy. How does that play on your mind? Um, we, honestly, we can't have a play on our mind. Um, we know I mean, the team starts taking shots, then it's a totally different ball game. They've probably had their worst game against the Mandy, so who knows what they could do. A lot of teams come in the rough and um, go off, especially in the rough. So um, we know we can't look past them at all. You guys play with a lot of motion against Missouri. It looked like anybody else. You've, now that you've done that, can you summon that you think when you need it each time? Well, I mean, yeah, I think that's what we need to do. Uh, and we, I think we know that we need to play with emotion every game. Uh, definitely have that with Missouri. So hopefully we can keep that emotion going high. It was good for us to get uh, a good win the last game. So uh, we're just looking every day in practice just to keep getting better. I feel like this team is... Obviously, Mississippi State's had a problem to get any fear of not being mentally focused. I mean, we approach every game the same way and treat every opponent the same, so we're not too worried about that. Um, we're just worried about ourselves, really, just getting better and, and uh, we just play our best, you know, uh, and we have confidence that we can do the, the, the first game without New Orleans, it really seemed like everybody was a little bit lost, not sure, you know, not sure how things were going to work with that. I mean, these last couple of you guys maybe found an identity, a, a post Nerlens identity and everybody, how everybody's role kind of Yeah, definitely. I mean, we changed a few things, but other than that, just kind of finding our identity, like you said, and, and just keep getting better without them. And uh, that's what we've done. The guys have stepped up, so we're just proud of everyone and we just want to keep going in the right direction. What has Julius meant to this team? Maybe from leadership, on the court, on the court. What, what has he meant to you guys, especially the young guys? He has a great leadership. The guys are very vocal, so it really just helps us. What has it meant to you guys also in these last couple games for, for Archie and Ryan to, to turn it around? They had been in a really rough, you know, sort of stretch there for a few games for both of them to kind of find some confidence. Yeah, it's definitely great for them. Uh, they played really, really, really well, and uh, we're at our best when our guards are playing great, so uh, for them to be coming around, it's, uh, it's a perfect time. When Cal says that Archie.